Hi everyone, this is a question using the algebraic method for quadratic function to show the quadratic function is a one-to-one -one function or not one-to-one -one function. Let's see this question. Given that the f x equals to 2x minus x squared is a quadratic function where the domain has been uh, restricted to uh, x greater or equals to 1, show that f is a one-to-one -one function. Right, the question already told that this is a one-to-one -one function and asks us to show, and hence phi is inverse. So here, in order to find the, to show this is a one-to-one -one function, we either can use algebraic method or graphical method. Graphical method, which is uh, we are using the horizontal line test. So here, I want to show how to uh, use the algebraic method to show this is a one-to-one -one function. All right, so let x1, x2, well, it's an element, they are element of all the real number. And uh, I'm trying to uh, show from this statement, fx1 equals to fx2. And uh, my purpose is to show this, uh, to bring this statement, this equation, into the x1 equals to x2. If I, I can prove that this statement, this equation, into the x1 equals to x2, then our conclusion is the airbag is a one-to-one -one function. Else, this is a many-to-one function, or we say it's not a one-to-one -one function. And uh, there is, if uh, there is not one-to-one -one function, meaning that the inverse not exist. All right. So now I'm uh, start with the fx1 equals to fx2. So what does it mean by the fx1? Means that we are substituting the x1 into the x. All right, into the x. We got a 2x1 minus x1 square equals to fx2, which is a 2x2 minus x2 square. Okay, so uh, to, to prove that, uh, to find a statement, which is uh, x1 in terms of x2, I will bring all the terms to the left-hand side. I will have my 2x1 minus 2x2 minus x1 square plus x2 square equals to 0. And here, for the first two terms, I'm trying to factor out the x, uh, the 2. I have my x1, x2 into in the, my bracket. And I factor out the negative, I have x1 squared minus x2 squared. And for this term, for this uh, second bracket over here, this can be factorized into the This can be factorized into x1 plus x2 multiplied by x1 minus x2, which I use the concept that a square minus b square can be factorized into the a plus b multiplied by a minus b. So as if that the x1 is our a and the x2 is the b. All right, then uh, this is equals to zero. So uh, look at these uh, two terms. I uh, have uh, the, the uh, common factor, common factor of uh, x1 minus x2. So I factor out the x1 minus x2. After you factor it out, the first term you left the two in the bracket, and the second term you left uh, x1 plus x2, and the negative multiply inside you got a negative x2 over here, equals to zero. So uh, you will have the uh, you will have an equation in this form, x one minus x two multiplied by two minus x one minus x two equals to zero. All right. So we are using this concept. If let's say you have a multiplied by b equals to zero, meaning that either a equals to zero or b equals to zero, as if that the a now is our x one minus x two and the b is the two minus x one minus x two. So now I have either my x1 minus x2 equals to 0 or 2 minus x1 minus x2 equals to 0. So from here, from the first equation, I can solve it. I got my x1 equals to x2 and the second equation, I got my x1 equals to 2 minus x2. All right, so now look back to the question. The question is given a quadratic function. Originally, Suppose there is no inverse exists because a quadratic function 
is never there never be a one to one function. There's only one condition it can be one to one function is restrict the domain. So now the question restricted the domain into the x greater or equals to one. Supposedly it is a one to one function. You can check by using the graphical method also. All right. So so we are. Uh, Look at this uh, domain, x greater or equals to 1. From here, I said that, okay, since the x is all, all the x greater or equals to 1, so I'm testing, okay, this statement, is it true? Is it true that, that uh, I can accept this answer or not? So I will test, uh, since the x is greater or equals to 1, is it? Greater or equals to 1, meaning that, the x1 supposedly must be greater or equals to 1. So I'm testing this. 2 minus x2 greater or equals to, sorry, 1. Eh? 1. So after I solve this, negative x2 greater or equals to 1 minus 2, that is negative 1. x2 less, uh, less than or equals to 1. This result is a contradictor to the to the domain that given because the domain given is uh, x greater or equals to 1. But here after I check, the x2 is less than or equals to 1. This is a contradict to the domain given. To the domain x greater or equals to 1. So this answer should be discarded. And we only accept the answer x1 equals to x2, which is from the algebraic method. For the algebraic method, we start from this statement, fx1 equals to fx2. If we, can, we are able to prove to uh, bring this statement into the statement x1 equals to x2, then our conclusion is since fx1 equals to fx2, which is the statement that we start off. Uh, it implies to x1 equals to x2. Therefore, we say that the function of fx is a one-to-one -one function. Okay, one-to-one -one function. And now, we are going to find the inverse because it is a one-to-one -one function. So, hence, find the f inverse. To find the f inverse for the quadratic equation, uh, to, for the quadratic function, I suggested uh, you must change the form or the function form into the completing, uh, using completing the square. Okay, using completing the square. So, given the f x is a 2x minus x square. In order to find the f inverse, I will change this into the uh, to a form which is a a x minus h square plus k. Okay, so to change into this form, I need to comp use the completing the square. All right, so uh, to complete the square, I will factor out the negative first. Then I have this. After that, trying to complete the square. Copy all the uh, the the two term because this uh, quadratic uh, this quadratic function does not have uh, does not has the this uh, a constant so just a two term which containing the x plus a bracket square minus bracket square and we can close the bracket. What should we fill up uh, fill in this bracket? We are taking the coefficient of the x which is negative two divided by two, negative two divided by two. So the first three term, this is a negative one actually. Okay, after we simplify, up, okay. So the first three term later on, it can be simplified into this form. The first three terms, it can be written in this form: x minus one squared. The minus one taken from here, negative two over two, negative one. All right. So we have a one constant at uh, at the end. All right. Uh, there is a negative one. Power of 2, which is 1. 1 multiplied by negative, you got negative 1. Okay, so multiply this negative inside. You have this. So we have successfully 
change our quadratic function into this form. Into this form, ax minus h squared plus k, which is uh, this form very useful for the quadratic function because uh, from here we can see the maximum or minimum point. Okay, so for this function, because the a is negative 1, which is uh, less than 0, so this is a uh, this function having the maximum point and the maximum point is a 1 1 which is given by the hk all right so from here i want to find my inverse function okay to find the inverse function i'm using this using the property of ff inverse equals to x so ff inverse can be written as, substitute this x as a, as, a, as a f inverse. Okay. Then after that, equals to x. Equals to x, just copy it down. And now I'm going to find the f inverse. So I will eliminate the 1 first. Bring the 1 over to the right. You got x minus 1. And the negative negative over here, you uh, uh, multiply both sides by negative, you got 1 minus x. Okay, to eliminate this uh, square, you got a positive negative square root of 1 minus x. Alright, so you have a f inverse equals to 1 plus minus square root of 1 minus x. Okay, so you got two answers. One is 1 plus third, 1 minus x. The other one is 1 minus square root of 1 minus x. Which one will you choose? Okay, we, are look, we will look back to the, we will refer back to the domain given. The domain given is x greater or equals to 1. Okay, and we know that the domain of the f is equal to the range of the f inverse. So which one, the domain now is uh, x greater or equals to 1. So which of the answers is giving the, you uh, x greater or equals to 1? Yes, this is the one. Because 1 is a positive number, plus a uh, 1 plus a positive number. Square root always produce positive number. So 1 plus a positive number always produce a value which is greater or equals to 1. Okay, so uh, but 1 minus square root will always produce a answer which is less than one so we supposedly we will choose the first one unless the domain given is uh, x less than or equals to one then you will choose the second one all right so our conclusion is okay since since the domain of f equals to the range of the f inverse which is equals to the one to infinity i'm writing this in the interval form then i will choose the inverse function as a 1 plus square root of 1 minus x. Square root of 1 minus x. Alright, so this is my inverse function. Okay, that's all. Thank you.